guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we got this mirror, which is also a webcam, or a dash cam, I should say. And it just kicked on because I'm moving it around. So, and it happens to be recording. So I set, I went ahead and set this up date, time, and all that crap. Made sure it was running 1080p. So, let's check this out and see if it's going to work. Okay guys, like I said, I've already... What this does is it mounts with these rubber rubber pieces here it mounts over your regular mirror and over in here and right in here is where you'll see your your camera come up now it's also a backup camera which I have right here just a little tiny cube okay um, I don't know a lot about this thing because this this is the one that came out of her dad's truck if it works well I'll put it monkey's truck and you know, maybe it'll help her backing up or something plus it's supposed to I believe this is supposed to record front and rear uh, video it does have a microphone on the back here right here's the microphone right here's the speaker so um, I'm not sure, like I said, how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to hook this up to the golf cart. We'll take a ride around the yard a little bit, and we'll see what's going on. But right now, I've got it plugged in over here with one of these USB-type charger things. And because Monkey's at work, so she's got the truck, so I can't try it out in the truck. But let me get you moved over here. I got the fan on, I'm sorry. Let's get you pointed down here. Now this, this is supposed to work also with these wires here for the black and red wires. You hook the black wire up to the ground and the red wire up to your reverse light. So when you when you kick it in reverse, the cam this camera comes up here onto this. But you don't have to do that. You can also change it on here as well. So let me get you zoomed in here a little bit. Let's get this thing plugged in. All right. We're gonna plug this in here. There's ports up here. See, there's where we're gonna plug our power into. And let's see. This port here is for your your rear camera so we're going to plug that in right now now once we plug once we plug this in hang on a second guys I had to change the plugs around on the fan so once we plug this in this thing should kick on monkeys messaging me sending me hearts this thing should kick on automatically I've got a card in it and it should start recording after it kicks on. See there's the... I don't know how well you guys can see it in there but... See there's the camera. Here's my hand. This right here up here in this corner is the back back camera which it's 720. The front one's supposed to be 1080 and the back one's supposed to be 720. Now here see okay we are recording and I do have the date set right okay so let's see which one is it I think it's this one there so we can have we can have it like that we can have it like that where we can have just the back cam but right now it should be recording there we go it looks like it's got uh, four LEDs on it. 
So right now it should be recording front and back. Or you can have it like that. See? So there's different positions, alright? So now, see, you don't have to put it in reverse. You can just hit that button if you want. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got, I've got this thing right here. And I'm going to hook this up to a battery and put it on the golf cart. And we're going to plug this into here with where I put it no. with this this is how this is what came with it this is how he had it hooked up so we're going to plug this in to the camera we're going to plug this end into here we have one of these too the same exact one in our truck we don't use it that much but it is handy so and then we'll hook this up to a battery. Then we're going to put the rear facing camera here. We're going to put it on the back of the golf cart and we'll drive around the yard. So let me get that stuff hooked up for you. I'm going to change the battery in this camera that we're using here. You can get everything hooked up, set up, ready to go. And I'll be back with you. Okay guys, this is my temporary setup because, you know, them straps will never go around that mirror and it's pretty wobbly. This is kind of wobbly too, but I'll do the best I can to hold it. Um, that's all I can do right now. But, just temporary for now, that's what, because the screen is actually right here. And I've got it, oops, plugged into that. And I've got this wire running out the back. And I've got this somewhat zip tied on there like that now this camera is supposed to be waterproof I'm, I'm thinking it'd be water resistant because it is an outside camera but you know that's going to get some bounce in there but it's the best I can do for now I don't know there's no way I can put it up there so we'll probably have to redo a visit on this thing, on this camera. But right now I just want to do an initial test to see if it's working. We'll do a quick review, but like I said, we'll do a revisit on it. So as soon as the neighbor gets done mowing, we're going to take this thing for a ride around the backyard and around the front yard. This thing is street legal. I can drive it on the street, but I don't trust them batteries to go very far. Um, I just hooked it into my battery there. This has nothing to do with the golf cart. This is just operating the camera. So, all right, let me let me get ready here. And as soon as he's done mowing, we're gonna I'll show you some clips of this thing. So, what I'll do from now is we will just go ahead and cut to the clips that we're going to record with this camera here. And then after that, I'll come back with my final temporary thoughts on it. Okay guys, change of plans. I put the camera here on this handrail instead of up there because this really bounces a lot more than this. It's still going to get some bounce, but hopefully not as bad. So, let's see how it does. Okay guys, this is like the fourth time I, can't, I couldn't find a memory card that would be working right. I found one that did work. It was a 2 gig. So, of course, you know, that's not <laughs> that's not going to do anything so it was only recording a few seconds because it's it should be recording both the front and rear cameras so we're going to try this again i know it's bouncing around a little bit but we are on a golf cart i just want to get an initial i want to find out if this thing's going to if it's going to at least work, and if it works right, then I'll put it, I'll install it in the truck and see, see how well it does, you know, we'll, we'll revisit this, like I said, and see how well it does in the truck. Got me a little road through here now. We used to park the boat right through here.
but I'm just trying to figure out if this thing is going to be worth even trying out in the truck, you know? To give a real good review. So this is not technically... It's more of a test to see if it's still working after three years. Because I know he bought it in 2017 because I found some old files on the card that was in here from 2017. So I'm just trying to see if this thing's still going to work after three years. It should. I mean, if it does, you know, that'll say something about the longevity of it. But I know he was real disappointed in it. Ma said that I don't know how much he gave for it or where he got it. But I know it wasn't like a whole lot of money, but she said he was, uh, he was pretty disappointed in it, so. But like I said before, guys, if, you know, if you don't have the money, or you can't spend $150, $200 on a good dash cam setup, you know, you're not going to have the best stuff. And then you're going to give... You know, you got to sacrifice some other things. You know, like they won't do some of the things these cheap ones will do. But the cheap ones, they want you to feel like you're getting your money's worth. And, you know, like stuff like that. So we got 2 minutes and 49 seconds. So, I'm going to shut you off here. And I'll take you in and I'll import you. Okay, so before we get on with this. Got a little package today. It is for this. It's a Corvette mouse. A white Corvette mouse. That'll be on the next video. So anyway, back to the camera. My overall thoughts so far is I think it sucks. Um, quality sucks, like I said. I don't know what it gave for it. I'm, I'm sure it wasn't a whole lot. But still, you know, I did record voices, you know, my voice, okay. But like I say, you know, they've always got the microphone back here and people's talking here. But I guess the, the uh, idea of it is to put, you know, to catch outside noise, tire squealing, uh, somebody cussing you out, whatnot. But the camera we're using here is now, I think it's like $120 new now. But even it's got two mics. Um, why couldn't they put a mic? Because you can shut the mic off on this. You don't have to record the audio. Why couldn't they put a mic on this side and on that side? So you can use one or the other or both or shut them both off. Why couldn't they do that? You know? Um, so, but it, it did seem like it was picking up my voice okay. As you saw, the quality was real pixelated for 1080p. Uh, you know, I'm not real impressed with it. Um, you know, I, I can show you. I had trouble getting a, a memory card to work. So I finally found one that worked half-assed. It's an old one, but it did work somewhat. Um, it will support a 64 gigabyte card, but... Um, the issue with that is the one that was in it would record sometimes, sometimes it wouldn't, so I had to reset the whole thing again, but I don't have a card in it now, but I'll show you, I've got it set on, whoops, sorry, you see that, I do have it set on 1080p, see? Now I know the front's supposed to be 1080p, the back's supposed to be 720. So I do have it set on that. So, I mean, like exposure, it says exposal, you know. Um, that's supposed to be exposure. I got it set, you know, on zero. So, I mean... It, it, it just, you know, I took the memory card out, but it's just, 
it is what it is, guys. I mean, without, like I said, just a just a quick, more 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 or less a test. Without, uh, you know, getting it hooked up in the truck, which I'll do. I'll install it in the truck. Maybe find a better memory card. But it seems kind of you'll well, you saw it. Um, without having it in the truck, you don't get a good. You know, it's just on a golf cart. It's real shaky. Um, so I will install it in the truck. If it works great, we'll keep it in there for. But um, you know, so I'm not sure about the reflection. I mean, like right here, it looks real dark. You know, um, not like a regular mirror. <sighs> of course, you could put this onto the rear, but you, you're seeing out that little bit. So I'm not sure. Like I said, without trying it out in a real vehicle when it's cloudy when it's real sunny when it's raining um, you know going down different roads and you know different aspects of it you can't give it a real good review so it was more 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 like a test just to see if it was going to work it is going to work it does work it just isn't going to be feasible to put in the truck I think I think the one she's got in there now is just fine, but I wanted to get one for the back, you know, to record what's going on in the back, because, um, you know, that thing's been hit three times in, what, two and a half years? Uh, it's been hit four times in four years, you might as well say. So, I mean, the truck's been hit at least four times in the back, and, you know, so I want to get a camera pointing back there for her, so... Like I said, without that, I don't know. So the review is not really much of a review, but right now I know it, it seems to be pretty crappy. I've seen it a lot better for cheaper. You know, I mean, I know this was almost a hundred bucks. I do know that. Uh, I looked them up and found the similar, similar, the same brand because you can get the information off of here. I found the information. They're around 80 bucks. Um, so, you know, 60 to 80, I think, is probably what he gave for it. Um, the one we got in the truck right now, hell, that thing was $35, and it, you saw the, you know, the quality of it. It's, it's pretty decent, you know. I mean, it's not like fabulous or anything like that, but it, but it works great. It's got some good clarity to it. But, um, so, you know, it does work and um, we had some fun we got to drive the golf cart around four different times so you know anyway guys i just want to say uh thanks for watching and uh before i go i just want to say alexa fart <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> shea bear the myth the man legend i'm gone for now bye bye guys take care